Hi guys, welcome back to my artistry. I am here at Jones Beach in Long Island, New York and my friends are trying to write my channel's name at the show. I do have a good support of my friends and I need support from you all. So go hit hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification. The reason I am here at the beach today is that I want to get inspired with these waves at the beach and make a resin beach bow. Now let's go back to my studio area at home. Let's look at the materials needed. This is a 12 inches square wood panel that I have prepared by applying duct tape and push pins at the back. And on the front, the white color you see is actually gesso. I have treated it with gesso a couple of times and let it cure for a few days. For this project, I am using art resin. We need our heating instruments, a blowtorch to pop up air bubbles, a small heat gun and a large one to create the waves. For the beach colors, I am using Malibu alcohol inks. To attain the sand color, I am using half and half of gold and tangerine. For colors of beach water, I am using aqua green, turquoise and Caribbean blue. And we need the toothpicks to remove the dust from the resin and to manually burst off air bubbles in the resin on the canvas, beside a million other uses. This is Tester's white paint that I am using to create the ocean waves with the heat gun. I will further coat the wood panel with some acrylic paints before pouring the resin. These are cerulean blue, light blue permanent and flesh ochre that are a shade less than our alcohol inks. Lastly, we need some brushes to spread these acrylic paints on the canvas. I will be adding these three miniature green turtles to our beach pour. If you see close, these shells of the turtles have hexagonal pattern. I will color these hexagons with Posca gold marker. Let's begin the work by coloring the turtle shell. Shake the marker well before using. I basically follow the outlines of the hexagons that are present on the turtles. By the way, these turtles I bought from Blick Art Materials. They are usually near the payout section and are labeled as good luck charms. To my viewers watching from outside the US, you can check out online at Etsy. There are some people selling these there. I haven't found out them on Amazon or eBay. If you guys know any seller of these miniatures online, post the link in the comment section below for others to purchase and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification i have colored all these three now and they look more attractive i have set them aside to cure for a few days meanwhile i am painting wood panel with acrylic paints I want to paint this beach boat diagonal with sand at the bottom one fourth and the rest with water. The alcohol inks mixed in the resin will determine the final colors of the art. The acrylic colors will be a guide to pour the colored resin and also the best way to color the canvas borders. The timeline to follow for the curing of these paints is important. I usually color the base of the canvases before the resin pour and leave them for curing for 2-4 to four weeks. If they are not cured well, I mean the paints are not completely dried out, the colors may leak in the resin and the resin may appear cloudy and dull. You want the resin to look very shiny and mirror like and not cloudy. So we need to wait for curing of these paints. After few months of painting the canvas with acrylic paints, I am ready to pour the resin. I have decided now to add a lot of glitters here in order to create this lovely turtle's shiny paradise. For the sand color, I am using the gold and tangerine alcohol inks. 
I will be adding here sand embossing powder to give it a real sand like effect. This powder is very fine and shiny. I am also adding in sand resin iridescent white chunky glitter and extra fine white glitters. Next to the sand I will be adding this Caribbean blue color ink with sky blue colored chunky glitter and frosty blue extra fine glitter. About the light blue colors, I will be adding this beautiful turquoise color alcohol ink mixed with state blue chunky glitters and extra fine peacock blue glitters. Finally, I will be adding a little of aqua green color with lime green chunky glitters and paradise green extra fine glitters. All these glitters and embossing powder are from recollections that I purchased from Michaels. They are also available online. I have pre-mixed the resin. First, I want to dip these turtles in clear resin and give them a nice bath. I will keep them aside for now. We will add them at the end when the resin is at sticky stage. I am coating them with clear resin for two reasons. First, the resin coating will make this soft oyster detail strong. Second, the gold marker hexagons will be protected in the long run. Next, I am pouring the desired quantities of resin for each color in a separate cup. As you can see, I have taken one large ball and four small silicone cups for mixing. The top two cups and the large ball are for colors of water. I am adding Caribbean blue alcohol ink in all these cups and mixing them well. On the top right cup I am adding a little of turquoise and on the top left cup aqua green ink. The reason I have added our first color as Caribbean blue in all the cups is because I want the colors of the ocean to be a little similar with shades of some turquoise and aqua green. Next, I am adding the similar color chunky glitters and extra fine glitters in the colored resin. and mixing them well. I find glitters as the best material to mix in the resin. It is very pleasing to watch them gel with the resin. The bottom two cups are for colors of the sand. I am adding gold color alcohol ink in both the cups and tangerine color ink more in the right than in the left cup. This is to create some shade in the sand. This is sand embossing powder I am adding in both the cups and stirring well. A little more tangerine here. Lastly, I am adding chunky white and extra fine white glitters in sand. Now all the cups are ready and I move them from the wood panel and begin pouring resin. Preheating the wood as it helps to disperse some air bubbles. Pouring the light colored sand resin first. It's turned for the Caribbean blue resin now which is a major color. Above it, I am adding turquoise and spreading them with my glow finger. A little of aqua green on the top and few lines at the center.
Next on the sand side, I'm adding the darker shade of sand that is mixed with more tangerine. Making sure the water and sand line just touch each other and not mix. Blowing all the air bubbles with a heat gun. When the resin is high on sticky stage, that is after a couple of hours, I am slowly adding the turtles. Every resin is different. The art resin I am using here has 45 minutes working time and it sets slowly. So the time to add the miniatures may differ according to the resin use. The reason I didn't add them before is that the turtles may sink in the resin and I was scared that we can't appreciate their flat out tiny flippers. I will let it set for a day to cure. The next day, I am working on the first major wave by adding clear resin on the top. I am adding the tester's white paint in a clear resin and mixing it. The tester's paint is light in weight and floats well in the resin which gives a more three-dimensional appearance to the resin. Note that I am spreading the clear resin only on the water side and not touching the sand area. Pop up air bubbles with a heat gun. I am pouring a line of white resin at the edge of the show. The blowtorch is not strong enough to move this resin, so I am shifting to my heat dryer on a high speed. Gently, actually harshly blow off the white to create waves until you are satisfied. Generally, when the waves hit the show, they appear large, so I want this wave to be huge. Yeah, it looks good better now. A little more here. Using the heat gun to pop up the air bubbles. And this will also help to create some cells. Wait for the day for the resin to cure and set and then work on the second wave. So the next day, I am adding some clear resin on the top one fifth area diagonally, following the outline of the first wave and repeat the same process. Only difference here is that I am adding a thin line of white resin as I want this wave to be small. The waves that are far off from the show appear to be small and when they hit the show they look white. I want to use the same effect here. It will look more natural and it's turn. The most difficult part here is to wait for 24 hours for the resin to set. The resin is completely set. One last thing is left that is to sign this piece. I am using white Posca marker here. Look at these magnificent turtles. They appear so shiny and happy to go to the ocean. The sand appears great with the sand embossing powder and the two shades used. These waves hitting the show seem so realistic. And look at this shine from the glitters, the watercolors. They are so tingling and that's why I call this beach pour as a turtle's paradise. I hope you guys love this beach pour as much as I do. So go hit the like and subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to get updates from my artwork. You can connect me through Facebook, Instagram and the comment section below. I have all the social media links in the description below. Take care and bye.